How are we doing YouTube? Nick Pratap here from Next Gen Rehab and in today's video I'm going to be going over the medication amlodipine and how it affects exercise. Now like with any medication videos I do, this is not meant to be medical advice. If you do have any specific medication related questions, I would encourage you to bring that up with your family doctor. Now let's start off by talking about what amlodipine does. All right, so amlodipine is found under the classification of medications known as calcium channel blockers. And its main purpose is to help with the blood pressure regulation, mainly in helping to lower blood pressure values. All right, and so its mechanism of action, it works within the bodies, specifically on the arteries. All right, so your arteries are actually a muscle. Um, they're also, they're known as smooth muscles. And basically what this does is there's a whole mechanism of uh, action that, that occurs, but um, it, uh, it allows the arteries to uh, relax, all right? Um, because calcium plays a, a major role in, in contraction of, of all the muscles in your body, particularly in this case, the smooth muscle. And so um, this medication um, affects that pathway and it allows the body's arteries uh, you know, throughout the body and within the heart to relax. So when you get relaxation of these arteries, you're going to get a reduction in blood pressure. Now, um, who typically is this medication prescribed to? So specifically for uh, patients that are, you know, potentially borderline hypertension, or if they have uh, high blood pressure, it may be um, given to uh, heart patients after uh, certain procedures in an attempt to uh, regulate blood pressure. Uh, it might be uh, given to patients after having um, a bypass surgery. So when they take a graft, specifically things like the radial artery, and they um, do the, use that as the, uh, the bypass of the blockage within the heart, sometimes these arteries have a tendency to spasm. And so um, they may be given as a, a medication to help relax the arteries within the heart um, so that um, blood pressure is regulated and it reduces the risk of uh, the spasming occurring. Um, Sometimes uh, it can be uh, given to patients that experience angina, especially uh, with exertion. I mean, the typical protocol is to give these patients what we call nitro spray, which open the arteries up. But if it's uh, something that's uh, you know happening uh, pretty frequently, um, if the person has what we call microvascular disease or smaller blockages within some of the arteries, smaller arteries within the heart, then this medication can help alleviate some of those symptoms of, of chest pain or pressure. Um, and again, that would be a conversation to have with your doctor. Um, to see if this would be the right uh, medication for you. Now, what are some of the typical side effects of this medication? So the big ones, like with any of the blood pressure medications, uh, could be things like dizziness, um, fatigue, right? Um, uh, one common one that, uh, or rather not a common one, but one that we do see sometimes is uh, swelling or edema in the legs, right? So if you notice that you're retaining fluid within your legs within the first you know, four, six, uh, eight weeks of taking this medication and it's not getting any better, um, or even you know, sooner than that in the first couple weeks if you notice edema going on within your legs, then definitely bring that up with your family doctor uh, because this may not be the appropriate medication for you and you maybe need to be switched on to something else. How about this medication when it comes to exercise, right? Um, when it comes to exercise patients taking amlodipine, there are no contraindications. The main things we're looking out for, again, are things like dizziness, uh, lightheadedness. We get the patient to monitor their blood pressure. Um, if you're noticing any of these symptoms coming on more often, right, dizziness, lightheadedness, or it's not getting better, or constantly your blood pressure is super low, you're feeling really tired or lethargic, um, it's not improving. Uh, then we may need to be um, having you speak with your doctor to have the medication dose uh, adjusted. Um, or again, if it's not the right medication for you, then you may be taken off it completely. Um, but typically speaking, there are no contraindications. You're able to do regular aerobic exercises, uh, regular um, strength training exercises, as long as there are no other comorbidities or um, uh, concerns from other health ailments or medications that may prevent you from doing um, certain exercises, okay? So hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Uh, also let me know if there's any videos uh, that you would like to make me uh, see me make in the future. And once again, my name is Nick Patel from Next Gen Rehabilitation. We'll see you in the next video.